This is Boston Boston Talk A five seven six coming at you. Um, I just got done watching American versus Devin Alexander fight. First of all, I want to commend both of these guys for facing each other, man. This is what Boston needs. This was an intriguing matchup. Everybody wanted to see who was going to come out on top. Most people had this fight fifty fifty. Me as well. Man, I didn't expect it to go this much of a landslide. I was telling people that Amir Khan looked very, very strong at 147, especially when he fought uh, Luis Colazo. I seen how how strong he looked at 147. I'm like, man, this guy can be a problem if he looks this strong, if he's truly this strong at 147. I wanted to see another fight. This Devin Alexander fight, man. Not one, not only was he, but he were Amir Khan better than Devin Alexander in this fight. He was stronger. Much stronger than Devin Alexander in this fight, man. Man, American show. Hey, look, I'm a, I want to point something out that American did. It was so the, the most brilliant thing he did in the fight was he kept the fight in the center of the ring with very little wasted movement. He was stepping around Devin Alexander so brilliantly. He did not waste any energy. That way, he was able to run off combinations. And still have energy at the end of the combination. Some guys have to run off when they run up their combinations. They have to like move out the way or kind of hold because they have to get, regain their energy. He will run off combinations and go right back to the jab. He was going to the body very well. He had an excellent arsenal of punches in this fight. Devin Alexander, man, I ain't never seen nobody dominate Devin Alexander like that in this tech in the technical boxing type match. That's what it was. They both was in the pocket. And I thought Devin Alexander, I thought he would have to come to American to have a chance in this fight. And because I knew he couldn't win from the outside. You're just not going to outbox American from the outside. It's just, it's tough, man. The guy got blazing hand speed. Like, Crazy hand speed, and he run off them combinations on you and get back on that jab. Man, it's hard to win rounds. You have to time him coming in. You have to hit American with something so hard it's going to knock off his faculties and get him off the game plan. And I didn't think Dem Alexander had that in his arsenal as far as, you know, them hard shots that can get American's attention. But, um, man... I got to commend Devin Alexander. He never quit in the fight. He kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, come, coming at um, Amir Khan each round, coming forward. I had never seen Devin Alexander come forward like that. His 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 game is is what Amir Khan did to him tonight is to fight on the outside, but he couldn't do it against Amir Khan. Man, um, I don't want to see Amir Khan uh, Mayweather right now. I want to see Mayweather um, Pacquiao. So. Um, I like to see. I don't know, man. I, I, I like to see Mir Khan against anybody, man. Mir Khan, man, he looks very, very strong at 147. It's gonna be hard to beat this guy. It's gonna take a combination of what Keith Thurman possesses, which is power. You know what I'm saying? And he can box too, as well. So he will be able to do what Devin Alexander wasn't able to do, as far as neutralize Amir Khan with some power. So that'd be an intriguing matchup. I would like to see him and um other guys at 147 too. I mean, you know, it's it's a lot of intriguing matches at 147 pounds. I would like to see him and Tim Bradley, or him and some you know somebody up in that uh, upper echelon. I don't know what uh where Devin Alexander gonna go from here. Oh man, um um i don't know uh let, just let me know what y'all think about this fight tonight it was an excellent matchup man i like to see more matches like this man this is a good fight card you know all night pretty good fights um this is boxing tall eight five seven six i holla